And the demon is back. The demon has returned to Monday Night Raw. Of course, this is Stevie Breach coming to you with the live continuous coverage of tonight's WWE Monday Night Raw Cinco de Mayo edition, the 5th of May, for you English-speaking folk out there. But tonight we have seen the uh, the downplay of a, a straight-out-of-a-horror-movie storyline with Daniel Bryan fearing the return of Kane. After he sat on that podium during the uh, Extreme Rules uh, press conference and said, you know, uh, have you had enough with Kane? And he said, maybe I'm not done with Kane. Tonight he shows up to the arena and he's scared shitless. He took a dump in his pants um, and basically... Bree has made him think that he needs to leave the arena. Coming to uh, the, you know, the, their save was Stephanie McMahon saying that she wanted to be safe uh, and she wanted to make sure that, that you know their stars were safe and that she was going to make sure that he was escorted out of the, uh, the building. They would have the valet bring his car right into the arena. They'd be able to get into it and drive right away. And at the last moment, as they got into their car to leave, Stephanie McMahon... Knocked on the window, scaring Bree shitless, say, saying, Hey, Daniel, you're free to leave. But if you leave, you are in breach of contract and we will be forced to strip you of your title. Of course, Twitter went haywire. Everyone thinking that she was, you know, shooting on CM Punk. She's not shooting on CM Punk. She's just saying if Daniel Bryan leaves, she's going to take him from the, for, uh, she's going to take the championship from him. It's basically the same storyline. They've been trying to put him in scenarios that would make him want to snap, make him want to quit, just so they can get the title off of him, bring it back to the authority, and someone, you know, that is in WWE eyes or the authority's eyes would be the champion. You know, yeah, Daniel Bryan and Bree come down to the ring somehow acting like in the back never happened as Daniel Bryan yeses to the ring and Brie poses with the belts at the ring and smiles and waves for fans and it makes no sense at all Daniel Bryan has a match with Alberto Del Rio I mean it's not like anybody out there thought Del Rio had a chance to win um I don't know I like Del Rio but this match really didn't matter. All they had to do is basically get to the end. Daniel Bryan won, and the second that he got the win, we went back into storyline mode. Let's not forget that he yesed his way down to the ring, and Bree was waving and posing for fans' pictures at ringside. All of a sudden, they went back into storyline mode, and they ran to the back, and they all hid, and they all screamed, jumping into the car to drive away. But what did they find? The car wouldn't start. Someone had messed with the engine, and one of the wires was disconnected from the battery, making it not want to turn over and start. Daniel Bryan, still in his ring gear, got out of his car, popped the hood, was able to connect the, uh, the, uh, the car battery, and then as he shut the hood, there was Kane. Dong! In the car, going after Bree. Why? He didn't start his attack when Daniel Bryan first got out of the car and locked the doors so no one can get in. I have no idea. Daniel Bryan calmly walked to the back door of the four-door sedan, opened it up, started to brawl with Kane. Uh, I thought that they were going to dispose of him. I was really hoping that, Tane, uh, that Kane was going to be there with his tire iron ready to snap and then send Daniel Bryan into the night-night vision as he drove away with Bree, where we could restart some angle where it was sort of like Matt Hardy and Lita, uh, where Kane steals the girl and he's going to marry her, and you know Matt has to fight, uh, fight off Kane. And maybe that would give us a reason to believe in payback. I guess we're not getting Batista. There's your answer. Kane versus Daniel Bryan 2. Payback. Sorry, Pinko. But, um... It is what it is. We'll go from there. But, you know, basically, Kane, you know, jumped up on the car as Daniel Bryan got back inside. And as he floored the gas to leave, Kane fell off the car, dead on the ground. Daniel Bryan, that's his former friend. I talked to you about this last night when they were talking about the match. I thought that he was going to beat Kane within to an inch of his life and then sort of, you know, pull back and reveal that, you know, you know, he went farther than he thought he was going to go. He, you know, he just he inflicted too much pain on his former tag team partner. You know, as he saw, you know, Kane lying there on the ground, even though he's been stalking him for the past three weeks, even though he took him and he tombstoned him three times uh, around the ring to set up the match. Uh, he still cared for him. Uh, you know, Kane did his best Undertaker impression. 
dong, as he sat up. And uh, Daniel jumped back in the car as it screeched and drove off. It looks like Kane versus Daniel Bryan too. I apologize, everyone. It is what it is. We'll have to see what it is when we get there. But um, let's go. That's going to be it. See you with more down the road. Boom.